it could relegate itself to the higher dimensions or what they call the heavens, could live on the surface or could live inside the interior because all he was, in a sense, was a mitochondria in a cell. So mega <laughs> better than to get that artificialization. Now we got the things we got. So you got somebody living inside. You got intelligent life or life beginning to, I don't know how intelligent it was, but life beginning to appear on the surface. And even in the higher heavens, it had begun to get consciousness too. So you had the existence now on a planet, which is on most planets under the sun, a heaven, a basic and then a hell. But the word hell came from the word Helen to cover. It has no depiction of a place of lake of fire or bales above and all this stuff. It merely met one that was covered, one that lived on the surface, and then the ability to also live in the air or the surrounding energy around the planet there too. Now, that having been said, we have to get into terminology that we use that I don't think most people understand the differentiation of, and if they do, then let me explain what I think about it, and then they can take me to task or help me out. One is called man, the other is called human, and the other is called mankind. Three yeah. different consciousnesses, three different things. Maybe the, the twins should not meet, but now we interrelate them as though. No, you're talking about different things. When you're talking about man now, you're talking about a person, not necessarily male, but a a creature that came from higher sources or from the gods and has the ability to go back to the gods because they were spawned of or came from or responded to the spawn of man. That is man. Human means animal man. Now, many black people especially and some non-black people refer to human as H-U-E. That is further from the truth. It has nothing to do with the hue of something. That has been a misunderstanding, I think, recently. Human met animal man from the god hubris and humorous by which they then began to use an animal kingdom on some planets which had nothing but animals. Don't want to take it too further than that because that's going to get confusing and I don't want it to be more complex and confusing than it may already be. But well, Dr. Then, Blair, the image that comes in is the island of Dr. Moreau. Amen. Amen, Ra. Amen, Ra. There you go. And that's why you see in many of these people who are writing fiction that didn't know how to bring this story once they read it in some of the ancient books and literature that they had it own and it cush and places like that where they studied this and see and they took that literature and they burned it and they hid it and then certain people who felt that they were more responsible took those books that were not burned and studied them and, and gave them to their scholars. That's where they can be so wise now. But it originally uh, in in Africa, what they call Mexana, uh it used to be a place there called Own and the library at Own was where they later changed to the library called Alexandria. After yeah. Alexander the Great. Well, there's no such thing as Alexander the Great. He was Alexander from Macedonia, a big killer and a fighter, and he didn't they didn't read too well anything else. He was not Sir Charles Burton, <laughs> okay, or so Richard this Burton. Is when he went in and he he conquered Kemet, and he there you go, he, and and he burned the library it. there because he yeah. couldn't read and he couldn't write, believe it or not. And the Greeks don't like to hear that part about it, but that's true too. <laughs> but anyway, that's where all this material, one of the places it had been, instead of also places inside the Earth, which they're still trying to get to those libraries down there. That's another reason for many of these wars, to try to find some of this apparatus and stuff like that. The third thing, going back again for that little sidetrack, was mankind. Yeah. Now, mankind met a clone, a hybrid, a machine, much as they're trying to tell you now, if you see they got movies now, the result of the machines, and the machines are transformers and stuff. You see, all this stuff that played before is beginning to have to play out again because we're ending the time of a cycle. We're coming around to where we're going to either spiral upward, spiral downward, or go around the same circle again, destroying ourselves and destroying the life form to make this planet again what it is and was again. So this is why it's a very important time in the life of this planet. So with all of those three delineations now, man, human, and mankind, you can see differences in all of those interrogatory type depths. When you start to interrogate in that sense, you have to find out that each one of these things was different. So that's your first black person. That's the introduction of melanin. That shows that there is life in, on, and around our planet, and how all planets under the sun have one similarity, none of them are original. And they can only progress as far as that sun allows them. And when they progress enough, they lose their sun. They become sons of the sun. They begin to understand what's really going on. And then they can create light and get into dark matter and all the things that you see happening now. 
that's the portent, that's the general concept, that's my basic theorem, <laughs> thesis, and we can go from there. Yes, indeed. So who indeed, okay, okay, first of all, we had this mission. They wanted to create this planet. And, of course, that makes me think of In Search of Spock, you know, the Star Trek movie where they created the, the genesis, the, the Earth, and then, of course, um, Spock was, was recreated, you know, and whatever. So it makes me think of that. So there was a mission to create a, a planet and to seed this planet. And then when they got stuck here, then they created someone with melanin, the first black person, so that they could survive in and on the planet to deal with the sun, yes? yes. And this was then where Seth was called one of the original gods. Again, it was the first mm. god on earth. But again, you, you got the history of that god. So God doesn't mean much anyway. <laughs> because mm-hmm. the creator or some people like to call create tricks. I don't want to get all this masculine and feminine stuff. I think we've taken that too far, too. This androgynous right. person at this particular time with consciousness was black, okay, or had mm-hmm. melanin. And melanin allows you to adapt to anything on this planet and still does, as long as you do it in a natural sense. <clears throat> now, the thing is that in alchemical, alchemy, and in chemistry, as the Greeks have introduced, and now kind of, and now it's been changed into a whole different synthetic form of things. Chemistry had nothing to do with alchemy, and alchemy deals with the things that were indigenous to this planet, as the gods made this planet for the in the terms of the light of the Creator, and anything else is synthetic. And so, when you now have melanin, which is not synthesized, what is the best plasma that the gods? the ancient ones had to give, and now you mess with it or you change it by using chemistry, then you're going to mess with anything with that has melanin because it is original. It is where we get the word org, and that's the highest element that a planet under the sun can use. And org energy, of course, is original energy, orgasm, organism. Now we're trying to get back to the original because we're coming back to that cycle again. But that's what org meant. There are three energies that a planet under the sun can utilize, org, Magnet, in which you have north and south poles, and the north pole is usually the one you want to utilize. The south pole you have to be very careful with, but you can live on magnetic energy. And the last and worst one, you can't get much lower, is electricity. And our planet not only uses electricity the lowest form to maintain any kind of sentient life, but we're using extra low frequency, elf waves. Now, that's going to the bottom of the pit. You can't get any lower than that and still stay in any way intelligent. So this is why this is one of the lowest graded intelligent planets is under a sun, but that's all in the process of now changing. And that's another whole story. Now, here we are. We have this one black person here that's supposed to transform. Now, he came down here to help free his his other um, companions or to who had gotten caught up in the, the planet and... Where did the seeding begin? How did we all get here? Well, first of all, remember, this race was not a race of people as we think about. They had no color. Right. They were they colorless. Were there was right. no such thing as color, okay? Mm-hmm. This person or this cell that now, when it grew up, was to have an ability to transform itself, whether it lived on a surface, inside or outside, under a sun, keep all this in mind, was yeah. therefore a person who, in order to stay under the sun and not become deranged and so, had to have melanin. And that's still true. You still have people who cannot take sunlight, ultraviolet waves or low waves, or, or ultra low waves, infrared or whatever again, because you have to adapt to that. And the adapting agent is melanin. So then they had to bring about a creature that could perform its own melanated aspect and they invented what was called the pineal glands. But keep in mind now, When you start getting into glands, then you have to start talking about something that you have to encase it with, which is called an organ. And when you talk about organs, you have to get to something that can sustain it all, so you have to get to the original thing, which were called the chakras, the wheels of life. So then these creatures had to produce lights from the light being. They were called chakras. And then as these chakras hardened, or they became, they began to accept more and more cells, then you had glands beginning to grow. Then from the glands beginning to grow, you got organs, 
and then the secretion of the gland to maintain the organ was called hormones. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. so now wow. you built a it's whole. With a purpose. 